Now, from KFDX3, Texoma's Weather Authority, with Chris Boone. Welcome back, Texoma. May have heard a couple of rumbles of thunder last night as we saw those showers and thunderstorms developing over the area. We'll still hang on to those rain chances as you continue throughout the day. With most of us staying dry, really starting to see that increased cloud coverage. That's going to keep the temperatures a bit on the cooler side as afternoon highs will reach into the upper 70s and low 80s. So again, temperatures will increase as we go throughout the day into the 70s for most of us. But uh, again, that cloud coverage with those winds out of the northeast is going to help to keep temperatures it's just a bit on the cooler side. In fact, running about 10 degrees below average for our afternoon highs. Again, seeing some of the shower and thunderstorm activity through parts of New Mexico, at least for the northern parts of New Mexico, in towards the Texas Panhandle. And then those showers and thunderstorms start to taper off really as you get in towards Texoma. Those showers really through the overnight hours. Uh, did hear a couple rumbles of thunder in towards the Wichita Falls area last night. Uh, now then as we got into the early morning hours, most of that activity pushed into the eastern or western parts of Texoma. Uh, still looking at those showers kind of fizzling out, but uh, rain chances don't drop to near zero. Uh, they'll still hang on to at least some rain chances throughout the day. Most of us will see the increased cloud coverage and stay dry, but you can't rule out the possibility of one or two of those thunderstorms developing, as well as some of those lingering showers. Again, the good news is, well, despite the increased chance for some of those showers and thunderstorms, uh, not expecting anything severe either today or going in towards your Tuesday with rain chances still likely to continue in towards tomorrow. So again, that's going to be a down a downtrend as far as the severe weather threat is concerned, uh, but still looking at some rain chances to start off the week. Temperatures into the upper 60s and low 70s, 72 degrees here in Wichita Falls. Lawton also at 72. Some of the warmer spots on the map, most locations into those upper 60s, 69 degrees from Quanah, Vernon, Seymour in towards Throckmorton, and seeing that western half of Texoma looking at those temperatures into the upper 60s and the dew points, well, not far far off into those mid to upper 60s as well. So very humid conditions out there even further south. That's where you're starting to see a dew point of 70 degrees. So again, very sticky, a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. That's why we're going to hang on to those rain chances really as we continue through the next couple of days. Winds right now at light but out of the northeast. That's going to help to keep temperatures cooler as well. And again, the rain chances staying very isolated uh, in nature, not cut, not seeing the same severe weather threat. So again, no hail threat or wind threat, but still will have the potential for some heavy uh, downpours as well as lightning with those thunderstorms. So again, that's going to put a bit of a damper on your pool forecast. Again, that increased cloud coverage, those rain chances, as well as those cooler temperatures, uh, highs only really getting into the upper 70s. So it might not be the ideal day. Uh, for heading out to the pool, maybe a little bit on the inside, but are staying indoors. Uh, but again, if you are getting outdoors, at least enjoy some of the cooler temperatures. Uh, it's temperatures reaching to those upper 70s and low 80s, though it is going to be a little bit on the humid side with that increased dew point. Tonight, temperatures fall back down into those mid to upper 60s. Still looking at those rain chances to continue at a 30% chance of some of those lingering showers and storms. And the cool temperatures continue for tomorrow into those mid to uh, mid to low 80s for us. So we'll feel, feel a few more degrees warmer as we start to see those temperatures begin to increase. Really won't be until the second half of this week in towards uh, Wednesday and Thursday. We really start to see those temperatures begin to climb, getting into those upper 80s and even some mid 90s to finish up the week. So rain chances for today and tomorrow drying out on Wednesday. And then we'll continue with that drying trend as you go through the rest of the week in towards the weekend with temperatures climbing back into the 90s.